Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all please to be upstanding to greet our very beautiful bride. for our ceremony today. I'd like to express, of course, a particularly warm welcome to Lauren and to Linda on this very special and happy day, their wedding day. Lauren and Linda have found in one another happiness, fulfillment, and love. Through their vows here today, they will be making a lifelong commitment to one another. And in so doing, they will strengthen and deepen the relationship that already so clearly exists between them. By your presence here as their family and friends, you are, all of you, expressing your love and your support for Lauren and Linda, as well as your support for the commitment they're making to you. <laughs> Barely started. Sorry. <laughs> so on their behalf, thank you very much for being here with us today. My name is Rebecca. It's my privilege and my pleasure to be leading you through your marriage ceremony today. And I'd like to introduce my colleague Jo, who actually has the much more important role than myself, uh, because she is in charge of ensuring this marriage is legally registered. I have to begin formally by explaining that this place in which we are all met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of civil marriages. And we are all gathered here today to witness the joining in marriage of Linda Maria Mitchell and Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright. However, before we proceed, if any person here present knows of any lawful reason why this marriage may not take place, you must declare it now. Total silence, you've invited all the right people, well done. Looks <laughs> <laughs> so like we're going ahead. <coughs> and so to you both, Lauren and Linda, we are here today to join the two of you in marriage. But before you are married, I must remind you of the nature of the important commitment you are about to make. Marriage in this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. It's solemn, it's binding, but more than this, it is intended to provide the love, comfort, friendship, and support that each of you will continue to share with one another as you journey through your life together. Our civil ceremony is very brief and simple and yet sincere. It's just the exchange of two sets of declarations, each repeated after me. The first is where you will declare that you are lawfully free to marry one another. And the second is the wonderful part, from, and a few short moments from now, for all these people who love you and are here to support you 
you will take each other as partners in your marriage. So, having spoken with you both, I'm quite confident the answer is going to be yes, but I am going to make sure. <laughs> Are you both ready and willing to make those declarations? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Very emphatic. Yes, that's great. Okay. So, this is your first set of legal declarations. This is where you will declare that you are lawfully free to marry one another. Um, so I have a statement that I'm going to ask you both to repeat after me. And I'll start with you, Linda. Okay. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Linda Maria Mitchell. Why I, Linda Maria Mitchell. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright. To Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright. Perfect. Well done. I do solemnly declare. I do sol solemnly declare that I know not. I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright. Why I, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright. May not be joined. May not be joined in matrimony. In matrimony to Linda Maria Mitchell. To Linda Maria Mitchell. Perfect. I now have a question for you both. The question contains a promise. And the answer I'm looking for is I do. Okay. So Linda, do you take Lauren to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to cherish and to respect her? And will you promise to be loving, faithful, loyal and kind to her all the days of your life together? I do. And Lauren, do you take Linda to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to cherish and to respect her? And will you promise to be loving, faithful, loyal, and kind to her all the days of your life together? I do. Fantastic. Can I ask our witnesses to stand, please? Can I ask Anne Yasmin? Can I stand Thank you, ladies. Um, you're acting today as our legal witnesses to this marriage, so I'm going to ask you to listen very carefully to the next set of declarations that Lauren and Linda are going to say to one another because we'll be asking you shortly to sign the marriage register to indicate that you've heard enough to do it. Okay. So Linda, Lauren, we've reached the part of the marriage ceremony where you will contract your marriage. It's actually by speaking the next sets of words to one another that you will become wife and wife. So we are almost at the moment that your marriage is going to begin. So can I ask you to turn and face one another? Hold hands if you want to, you're about to be married, we won't be shocked, I promise you. <laughs> um, and repeat the words after me, but say them to each other, because this is how you become joined in marriage. And uh, Linda, you're going to go first again. I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Linda Maria Mitchell... To witness that I, Linda Maria Mitchell... Do take thee, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright... Do take thee, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright... To be my lawful wedded wife... To be my lawful wedded wife... Lauren... I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright... To witness that I, Lauren Kerry Elizabeth Wright, do take thee, Linda Maria Mitchell, do take thee, Linda Maria Mitchell, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. The ancient and traditional way of sealing the marriage vow is by the giving and receiving of a wedding ring. A wedding ring is a perfect circle, symbolises everlasting love. It's also the outward sign to the world of the vows and the promises that you've made here today. So Linda, would you like to take the ring from this one that you have to give to Laura? Thank you. And if you place it on the third finger of her left hand, or wherever she wants to wear the ring. And if you hold it there, repeat these words after me, but say them to Laura. Lauren, I give you this ring. Lauren, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of my love. And as a token of my love. All that I am, All I give to you. I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. And all of my love, I promise you. And all of my love, I promise you. And Lauren, do you want to take the ring? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <coughs> and if you want to place it on the third finger, on his left hand, if you hold it there, repeat these words after me. Send it to Linda. 
Linda, I give you this ring. Linda, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of my love. And as a token of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. And all of my love, I promise you. And all of my love, I promise you. And so, Linda and Lauren, you've made here today those declarations that are required by the law before your family and friends who've gathered here in your honour and in the presence of your witnesses and of the city's registrar of marriages. You have made a solemn and a binding contract with one another. You've sealed that contract with the giving and receiving of wedding rings and you've made promises to one another of love, of loyalty and of lifelong commitment. Edmund O'Neill wrote that when two people pledge their love and care for one another in a marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written word ever could. Marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love one another, as you do. It takes a lifetime to fulfill. It is my pleasure, it is my honour, to declare that that lifetime starts now, for I can now proclaim you are lawfully wife and wife. Many, many congratulations. <laughs>
I've just been pointing this direction. <laughs> I'm 
Celebrating, it's a very happy occasion. It's a very lovely couple. Um, what's going to happen next? Lauren and Linda are going to lead you all out of here. But I could just ask, while they're walking um, back down the aisle, um, if you can just have your phones um, away, just so the photographer can get her shots with that kind of mobile phone in the way, that'd be great. You have plenty of opportunity for taking photographs in the day, I'm sure. Um, but before we leave you to your celebrations, there are just a couple of important duties for Joe and I to discharge. First of all, on behalf of both of us. And in fact, everyone at Brighton and Hove Register Office, we'd like to wish you both not only a happy day today, but a happy day every day. What I'm sure is going to be a long, really wonderful married life, kicking off with that beautiful honeymoon <laughs> in Cyprus. So enjoy every moment. Um, and the last thing is to present you with your marriage certificate. Yay! Everybody, Mrs. and Mrs. Mitchell Wright. Yeah. 